we've seen a huge, huge uptick in the number of patients who are looking for RFA or other thermal ablation treatment of papillary thyroid cancer. Uh, so this is a hot topic in our community today. Um, I would love to hear why you as surgeons are open to doing this because a lot of physicians aren't. The reason why surgeons that treat a lot of thyroid cancer are open to the idea of RFA, in my opinion, stems back to data that we have from Japan over the last decade or so showing that small papillary thyroid cancers can be watched, meaning we don't even operate on them. We simply just watch them with repeat ultrasounds every six months to a year. And when you do that over a 10 year period of time, only about 10 to 12% of those patients are going to end up requiring surgery because these, their cancers are relatively indolent in the sense that they don't spread outside of the neck. They don't continue to grow. Um, they just continue to kind of sit there and do nothing. And so we have this clinical data from Japan showing that that is a safe thing to do for the smaller papillary thyroid cancer.